Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel. As you just seen, I've got a problem with my truck. I'm not going to show you exactly how to fix it, but I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this problem within five minutes. It's real easy to do, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got in my truck and I tried to start it, and all I did was get a click. Now, you've got to know what your clicks mean whenever you're working on a vehicle. In this case, the click was the starter. Now, it could have been the starter relay. The way that you find that out is when you're turning the key forward you should hear a distinctive click here if this is working then you're going to hear the starter either turning or clicking if the starter just clicks there's a couple things that you need to do the first thing is make sure that your battery has enough juice and the way you can do that is you can turn on your headlights you can turn on your blower motor you can turn on accessories inside your vehicle and see if they run at full speed if your headlights are really dim, if your accessories like your blower motor doesn't work very well, or if it drops considerably whenever you turn on your headlights, then you know you may have a battery problem. Going back to the starter relay, if your starter relay makes a series of fast clicks like brrrr, that means that the battery may not have enough juice to engage this fully and keep it engaged so what it's doing is it's skipping inside because it has just enough juice to make the contacts hit but not stay fully opened that's not what's happening here in this case the starters making the click real loud down below and it's not engaging the starter motor now what happens down there is you have a bendix that engages the starter wheel on a lot of the older style Ford starters. At this point you gotta wonder why is the starter motor not turning? Could it be the starter motors bad or is there so much resistance going on or a misalignment that it doesn't get a chance to turn? Well in this case what I did was get underneath the truck and you grab your harmonic balancer the lowest pulley on the engine and you turn it by hand. Now make sure whenever you do this you don't have the key on and nobody's inside to where they could accidentally start it or anything like that. All you want to do is make sure that your engine is free, especially like now our weather has been very cold and if you have not enough antifreeze mix you could have frozen your block or the water pump. In this case I turned all the accessories and I also turned the balancer down below and everything turns freely. The other good thing about doing that, whenever the balancer gets turned, it could be that the reason that your starter has a problem is that it got jammed. It could be that the starting gear, whenever it went to engage the flywheel, it jammed it somehow. And sometimes just turning the engine by hand will allow that jam to become loose again. Again, that's not this case. So basically, what you're listening for on clicks is when you turn the key, you do not get a rapid click from here. That means your battery is in good shape. And if you get a click down there, but the motor does not turn, that means that your starter motor is bad. That means it's not working. And again, that's only if you can turn your engine by hand and the accessories all turn with that. So there's my troubleshooting tips. Now unfortunately, because how cold it is, I have to get underneath this truck and I have to get this thing started um, to where I can move it in the garage or I'm gonna have to work out here in the cold. And I think I'm gonna try to jump start it direct. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I've taken a hammer and I've tapped the starter motor and that still didn't make a difference either. So it looks like I'm gonna replace the starter. It's always a good idea to make sure you get a good warranty on your starter. That way when something goes bad, you got it covered you're just going to replace it then you're just out a matter of time and in this case some temperature thanks for watching i appreciate it bye